What are the... Yeah. It's been good lately. And, uh... Probably because of, uh... Probably... Probably because I've been eating better. That's what's been happening ever since then. I'm sleeping better. So I'm guessing what's been going... I'm guessing why. It's because, um... Here, I gotta type something down real quick. But, um... Yeah, I'll just... But uh, I'm guessing why, too, because the body has a harder time processing junk food. And, um, I've got this habit... Um, I don't always like to eat just before I lay down, but, um, I usually like to, uh, especially when I get home from work, I will try to eat something. You, what it used to be was a croissant and a chocolate donut before laying down, and that's when sleep uh, becomes a struggle. Um, I can't remember exactly how it was worded, but, uh, you're... Your body doesn't completely shut down digestion while you're sleeping, but it is slowed down. It's it does get a uh, slowed down some. Um. So your body has a harder time processing junk food. So, but when you're sleeping, it's even harder for your body to uh, to process it. But if you're if you're eating healthy food, you know it's easier for your body to process that so I'll eat something lay down shortly after and it's like it's like, it's like it doesn't affect me so I'm I'm guessing that's um, that's the re that's the reason why I've been sleeping good lately um, between five to seven hours and these are uh, these are pretty much uh, the sleep kicks in like a few minutes after me laying down too it's not like I'm tossing and turning for an hour or anything until finally clunk. like it's happening almost immediately but I remember I remember way back in the day where I can't remember what it was I'd eat but I would eat a shit ton of junk food laid on and like an, about an hour lay down like about an hour later and just clunk, 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 clunk. Like just massive fucking heartburn. I'm like I'm like popping off. I forgot the name of the medication, Bam Bamotidine or something like that. There's actually a brand name for it. It's like um, heartburn medicine. But yeah, it would be it would be like just freaking terrible. I'd had a I really had to cut down my eating, like before I lay down. Yeah, I think these days, the most I eat now, or as far as processed foods go, I think is uh, bread and a uh, tuna salad. I mean, that I can think of at the moment. Most everything else I eat now is either uh, either gotten in the, the produce department or the uh, or the dairy department. Um, that and uh, uh, canned beans, canned beans, and uh, what's the other one? Come on, Joe. Canned beans, uh, canned pineapple, canned chicken breast. Yes. Yeah, because the junk food that I was eating at the time. Uh, mostly chocolate donuts and croissants. Croissants cost about uh, five dollars. Um, chocolate donuts, I 
I think costs about the same amount of money, five bucks for a for a container. And uh, I think it only lasts me like a couple days. And uh, that's something else too. I no longer drink almond milk. Um, now it's it's just skim milk. I think I talked about this in one of my other streams. Uh, skim milk costs like two and a half bucks. That thing will last me at least a week. Whereas, uh, I would pay almost twice that much money. Well, let me rephrase it. I would pay at least twice that much money for almond milk. And then chocolate almond milk on top of that, which has added sugars. Yeah, I think my, uh, my math might be wrong on that. Yeah, I think money-wise, now that I think about it, I kind of stand corrected on that. Money is about the same. Because uh, a half a gallon of chocolate almond milk would last me about a week, too. But, I mean, that there might also factor in there as well. Like, in me, uh, in me sleeping. You know, because, again, there's, uh, there's a bunch of added sugars thrown in that, that chocolate almond milk. And plus, uh, there's a whole shit ton of other ingredients that get thrown in there as well. I think, uh, I might have to actually look at the package, but I think, uh, all my milk by itself contains next to no calcium at all. Um, any calcium that is in there is just is is pumped in by the uh, by the factory. Um, and I think there's next to no protein at all in almond milk. Um, but I'm, again, if there's any if there's any protein in it at all, it's probably just probably pumped in there on the assembly line. And uh, there was also a YouTube video I saw on that, too. The uh, almond milk that you buy at the store, there's hardly any almonds used at all. Most of it's just extra shit thrown in, like, you know, additives, pres preservatives, flavorings, and stuff like that. They, uh, they actually said, uh, you can make, you can make your own, own almond milk with just, uh, just almonds and water. But, uh, you would also have to strain it too. So I guess to answer that question, you you do save money, but it's not it's it's not that much. You know, so it's not it's not like I can I can go out that go out there and get that college education that I've always been wanting or you know anything like not like that at all. So you save a little bit of money, but you get a way better return on investment though. That, yep, beat me to it. Yeah, and then on that subject, um, despite me having, um, despite me having my shoulder, shoulder blade injuries, or the, my, 
it's called your lap muscle. I think that's the main problem. It's the lap muscle and probably the rhomboid muscle, especially on my left side. I mean, aside from that, overall aches and pains, it, my days at work, uh, most of the, back in the day, I used to just constantly go home every day after work, uh, lower back, all kinds of, you know, all kinds of bucked up, um, other various parts of my body are also hurting like hell. That's hardly an issue these days. The only time, the only time I was really hurting was, uh, last Thursday. But that, uh, but they also, uh, I posted this on my blog, but, uh, they also stuck me with, uh, with a young kid. Just, one of my co-workers said every day is his first day, which suits him perfect. And then they gave me an Arabian who hardly spoke any English at all. So on that, on that day there, yeah, I was practically had to be everywhere at once. That day I came home with my, uh, my lower back sore as hell. Um, came back home with my uh, feet sore as hell. But that's pretty much the lone exception. Otherwise, I've been going home without, with hardly any pain at all. So it's like my body is getting more out of uh, what I'm eating. Um, you know, at work it's like um, it's grapes, it's uh, red grapes and uh, strawberries. So no junk food, like no candy. The, the only time I really uh, really gorged on candy was uh, during our round table meeting last Thursday, and even then, it wasn't like I just. <laughs> Like I just downed a whole bag of Reese's Peanut Butter Cups or something like that. I think I only had like four or five of them. And they're the uh, miniature ones. So, but again, it, it was just uh, grapes, strawberries, uh, two hard-boiled eggs, and cottage cheese. Those are, uh, those are foods that your body has a way easier time processing than, say, junk food, which has like this whole laundry list of ingredients that your body has to do something with. So, so eating healthy is, uh, it's helping my body do more with less. <laughs> 